for those who don't know, not everyone knows, um, I, uh, obviously when I started, I was Mr. Angry and I used to wear a mask because I wanted to maintain my anonymity and, um, the, uh, after I did that for a while, I started to find some other, uh, masks that I could make characters with. And I, I think I had at least a dozen characters at different times, but, um, I, uh, had four main ones. They were Halloween masks. And I started to, uh, see four of them as being like housemates. In fact, I think someone else came up with a name for me. They were the four housemates of the apocalypse, as opposed to the four riders of the apocalypse. I, Mr. Boring, he, I think he was the first one. I'm not sure to have a personality because he just, it's actually a witch. The... Mr. Boring is, um, a witch, and, uh, I cut it out and it looks male, and, um, he just seemed boring, and so, he was like a parody of, sort of, you know, every really boring video maker. Yeah, it's basically, look, I, I actually have them right here, because I was working with him. Uh, Jude Mara said, I, I left out, I, I did shoot a bit of video with the, the Prince of Darkness, the Red Demon, Mr. Red. Uh, the other day. That's because that bit of footage is actually going to be in a bigger uh, video. More bogan. I think I've got my bogan mouth gear here somewhere. See, this is a, a vampire who wears too much makeup. <laughs> this is a vampire who wears too much makeup, so I just call him Mr. Flamboyant! I can only see this vampire as being a very outgoing, flamboyant, happy-go-lucky character. He's the only housemate who has any sort of a life because he's always going out to bars and discos and nightclubs. And he has a good time. He's just a very happy-go-lucky sort of chap. So, that's Mr. Flamboyant. Here's everyone's favourite. One Jude Maris keeps calling Prince of Darkness. I just, uh, call him Mr. Red. Is a very dark, mysterious character who likes to think he has powers. Wonderful, mysterious, dark powers. And would never admit that maybe he doesn't really have dark powers. So I think he sort of has delusions of um, grandeur. Uh, <laughs> I also actually suspect... I suspect that Mr. Red and Mr. Flamboyant are having a gay relationship. I suspect, uh, although uh, I think Mr. Flamboyant would only be throwing him a mercy fuck. Uh, I think Mr. Flamboyant could do better and Mr. Red would be really lucky. But maybe if um, Mr. Flamboyant is feeling generous he would throw a mercy back, finding another mask. What's over here? Oh Christ, the masks will get damaged under there. And here's everyone's favourite, Mr. Boring. Oh, I'm just... I... I want to go on vlog TV and say hello. Uh... I, I want to, mm, I want to tell you stuff I have been doing, uh, but I haven't been doing anything, but I still wanted to come on and say, I haven't been doing anything, so I, I haven't made a video in a long time, um, but I, I wanted to make one to tell you I haven't made a video in a long time. Because, um, you might not have noticed 
I haven't made a video in a very long time. And I haven't made a video in a very long time because I haven't had anything to say. And I wanted to come back to say I still don't have anything to say. And he's like, I can do that for a disturbingly long time. There's another one in here somewhere. What's under here? Um. Ah, last one. <coughs> last of the uh, um, four housemates of the apocalypse, Mr. Insane. And his personality is just... I just looked at this and went... <laughs> Look at the way those eyes bug out! He just... Wants to do insane things all the time! <laughs> and I think he's going to give uh, Mr. Red uh, a, a, a potion that's possibly poisonous? Uh, but you know, it's just... It seemed like a good idea at the time. It's, it's, he's that sort of guy. Uh, so... That's the four main ones. It's just on the phone. My girlfriend doesn't like you. Cause you <laughs> oh my god. I offended Nazis. Jesus, what fucking German doesn't want to distance themselves from Nazis? My god, that is so weird. Yeah, Toad Lord. Um, this is a surprise show. Um... Because YouTube was down before. And I'm just using up my bandwidth. Because my bandwidth resets tomorrow. So. This is a bit of a surprise one. Mr. Angry is my faith. Mr. Angry's here too. This is what always fascinated me. Because this mask's translucent. Right? So you'd think. Uh, um, it wouldn't make me look that different. But. Not only does it completely hide my identity, makes me look totally different. Whenever someone wears it, they look the same. I've seen a bunch of different people wear this, and they all look disturbingly like me when I wear it. And when the mask is off, they don't look anything like me. Death Ninja, are my kids scared to bring me in for career day? Um, well, YouTube isn't my career because it doesn't pay enough. So I would talk about my day job if I went for career day. But, coolest thing, I found out my kids use me to boast to other kids because um, a lot of their friends have actually seen some of my um, videos on YouTube. And uh, they, my kids actually boast and say... <laughs> Oh you know, yeah, my dad, he's uh, Angry Aussie. He's Mr. Angry on YouTube. And he makes money from YouTube by doing that. And <laughs> so they show off to their friends by saying, um, yeah, their dad's semi-famous on YouTube. <laughs> Miss Redberries, I'm in Melbourne. I'm from country New South Wales, but I'm in Melbourne. That's where I live now. Okay, Kaylee, glad you could drop by. Glad you had fun. Catch you another time. <laughs> if the kids tell me to shut the fuck up and do one of my characters, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do swearing for primary school age kids. Uh, but um, oh yeah, the blogging bot. Uh, the blogging bot from the future is my girlfriend's favourite character. So he needs to come back at some point. See, I have this weird state of mind um, for those people who don't know. I just could tell it's got to go. See you later. Miss Redberry's your uncle's in Adelaide. Okay, that's a ways away from me. How's life in the UK treating you, Miss Redberry's? Oh, yes. Okay, why I use masks, besides the anonymity thing, when I was in college. Oh wait, I'm not going to start a story because I have to go. 2.40am. Man, you've got sleep deprivation.